Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warplanes. I'm your host Rune, and today I'm actually able to switch through my planes, uh, which is awesome. However, I don't know what's going on with my contacts, but like I see some people online playing uh, in a different chat on an off client thing in Discord, but not in the game. I don't know, it's weird, but that's okay, guys. So today. We were thinking we need money, and to do that we need premium stuff. And I was thinking this thing has like that cannon, that thirty-seven millimeter cannon, so we can do some more, um, some more target practice with that kind of cannon, because we got to get the hang of that thing anyway. So I was thinking, eh, why don't we take out the Era Cobra for a little bit of fun today? Um, just a couple of matches, um, see what we do, how we do it, <clears throat> you know. That kind of thing. So I wanted to um, take note or have a conversation with you guys in relation to the length of videos and how many different matches we have. Because I was looking online at the uh, analytics. YouTube has a lot of data that you can just pour over and stuff. And I noticed that um, the longer the video is, the less um, likely it is for... Uh, everyone to stay and watch that one video. So what I was thinking about doing is going back to the original format of doing single or double matches um, unless we do special events like Fridays um, where it's co-op and we just we, we play for a couple of hours or an hour or something like that and it doesn't matter how many ma um, episodes or uh, matches, excuse me, um, that's fine. Um, and then we can, because that's kind of like an event thing um, and and that also plays in hand with um, some of the stuff that we we're going to do in our Let's Play of Assassin's Creed to where no matter how long it takes, we are just going to um, do all the side quests or whatnot and it's like a special event or all the tomb raiding in you know Giza or something as an example. So like for World of War Planes, we're going to still have our grind sessions, but our grind sessions are actually going to mean something. So the grind session videos are going to have, um, it's going to be several matches that lead up to actually us being able to unlock various different things. And so then that way, you guys get kind of like a sense of um, a quicker progression scale than, the, than me taking you along for every single match, you know what I mean? Um, which has been a lot of fun. But I was just trying to think, you know, what ways that we can, you know, improve the channel and improve um, the likes and the comments and the subscriptions and like all the other kind of stuff to keep doing daily content for everybody and the like. So anyway, we're on the Plateau Decisive Hour map. That means two air bases, three garrisons. Let's see. We are top tier. Nice. And a, ooh, a tornado. Nice. Although unfortunately, tornado is not a player. Let's check. How many players we got? It looks like just two. It is two. You are approaching the front line. Versus versus two. Attention. Maybe. You are entering the I don't know. Alright, so we're Get gonna go over that. here. Good luck. To the airbase. Oh yeah, that's right. Eric Cobra has like a small little itty bitty bitty boost. So I'm gonna have to get used to this gun again. Man. Definitely an interesting thing. So yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys liked the episode yesterday where we went into World of Warships and did... Cool, focus. Woo! Um, and where we did um, a ranger game match, words. And um, that was really fun for me. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, but anyway, let's get back into one day when I can hit you with this giant cannon. All right. So now we are going to go to the middle. Because that's going to get capped, I have a feeling, soon. I got that... Um, I got a yak with me. Cool. So let's go. We got a heavy already on site. It looks like we got 
heavies up here. Let's go have some fun. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had a I had a uh a comment yesterday um or was it earlier today? I can't remember. Uh and he said, you know, you just got to you just got to learn to aim with the 37 mm cannon. Oh, ow. Did we kill him at least? Let's see. Yeah, okay. So at least he died. <laughs> that was awful. Um, but anyway, uh, he said that the 37 millimeter cannon takes a little bit of time, or it takes a little bit to get used to, but once you master it, then you can, um, you can really be deadly, um, which is so true. It's just a matter of, like, it feels like it leads slowly, like, or it doesn't, it's, it's, like, it travels slower, so you have to, like, do a lot of lead on it, um, which is alright, that's fine. Let's go back cap behind them, I think. No, that's boring. Let's go over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going? I don't know where we're going, guys. Let's go this way. You know what? You might as well just do it. I'm being very indecisive today. Today is, I'll support that guy right there. That's fine. Okay, so. We're focusing on getting better. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, is he? I can't tell. One day we'll hit you. Okay, that guy's gone. Turning. Ah! Activate our turning mobile. We're really, this plane excels as a lot of American planes excel at high speed um, horizontal turns. Not so much the turns like this that I'm doing. Because um, you can get kind of outmaneuvered. Does that make sense? Um, all right, so we got that. Uh, who is that right there? We're gonna go and get him. Um, but yeah, so the, the American plane line is like very good at horizontal turns. Ah. That, that took a minute. <laughs> um, but you can get outmaneuvered by other kind of, um, other kind of planes if you do not take into account your advantage um, with the kind of plane that you are. Like most of the American fighters, like the Mustang as an example, are really good at high altitude, horizontal turning on that plane. So that's kind of really cool. Oh, hey, we hit him with our giant cannon. Ooh, ooh. Can I hit you with the cannon again? No. Of course not. Why won't I be able to hit you with, with the cool cannon? There we go. Got that. Saved our heavy. Woo! Um, there's a heavy over there. We're not really going to focus on him. We're going to try to... Oh, we're going to protect. That guy's coming for us again. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, did I kill a, an ally? How did I kill an ally? I thought... Oh, what? Does that make sense to you guys? I, like, shot down an ally. Oh. Hang in there. You'll soon be what? I say again, support will not Oh, we're stalling. Ooh. Let's try to... No! Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, can we... One day. 
Oh no, now we're gonna get shredded by him. That's just so rude. Come here. I see you. Gotcha. Okay. That's really unfortunate, guys. I did not know that you can shoot down your allies. That's really unfortunate. Uh, maybe because we were shooting at the same guy and he, like, drove right ba past us that it wasn't... Whoa! Hey, that looked cool. <laughs> cool. Alright, so where are we going? Looks like there's a lot of guys over here. Ooh, a lot of guys. Alright. That one heavy is still over there. I'm trying to see here. I don't see... Oh, man, we lost the... We lost the point. Try it. Oh, focus mode. Oh, crap. Zoom. <laughs> Focus mode. Come here, guy. Gotcha. Woo oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, where? What are we doing here? There's got two guys there and a and a bomber. Um, Bomber is going to get gunned down, I think, by our two NPCs. So let's go take out this guy. Um, yeah, those are the only two left. Let's go kill this guy. I don't want to spend the time climbing. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Uh, this, this aircraft is a lot of fun. And it is definitely um, worth it, in my opinion, because it gives you such a variety of kind of fighter weaponry to kind of play with. So, we have control of all airfields in this area. just Tactical so you guys know. Wow, I got the Ace. Is what is Ace? I never got that. We're going to have to take a look. Great job today. Wow, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. That is an amazing... Amazing game. All right, so let's go back to Hangar and review all the overall stats. That was that was pretty cool. Um, granted, we were just doing two players versus two players and a whole bunch of NPCs, um, and that kind of does skew your um, stats a little bit because some of the NPCs um, don't fly very well. But look at that. Let's take a look. So we shot down 20 guys, helped capture three targets, Let's go review the team scores really quickly. So there's that Spencer guy right there, that Yak-9, and then this guy. So, or no, that was, that was, this is an NPC. So this guy, this guy in the hurricane. Oh, okay, cool. So good job, guys. Um, and then good job to our player right here. He was in our bomber. Oh, cool. Okay, so he was our bomber, dude. I didn't really see that in the beginning. So let's, let's review. So we got the Warrior Badge, the Heroes of the Sky Badge, the Flying Paladin Badge, the one Russian medal I can't really um, say, which is kill five aircraft from an enemy combat group in a single go, I think. And then this guy killed ten aerial targets in a single sortie um, and winning the battle, which is cool. And then we got Winged Legend, and then we got um, the Akamatsu medal, which is, you know, do the 400 capture points deal. Then we got Ace, which is awarded by destroying at least 20 aerial targets in a single battle. In tier 4 and higher. That's really cool. Then we got the Conqueror Badge for doing 450 capture points. Wow, guys. We placed first. We got the, uh, the four chevrons and the star. And then we got the Subjugator, the Effective Fire, and the Flying Start. 
We got five tokens. <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. Oh, man. Oh, guys, I just, I want to leave this just like, I just want to leave this match singly. So, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this just how it is because the next match might be terrible. <laughs> we might just completely suck. Oh, that's a good match. Good game. Good game. All right, guys. Well, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. It really kind of helps me out. Um, leave a comment about you know tips and tricks or what you find cool or what kind of planes you fly. There is a link in the description um, that is a permanent invite to the Discord channel that um, me and a group of guys uh, play Black Desert Online and a um, couple of other various different games. Um, so feel free to join the Discord and to, to chat us up. I have the Discord phone app, so you can talk to me while I'm not even at my computer at all. That's what I was doing with Corporal yesterday. <laughs> so you know what, guys? It's been fun. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.